Building stronger family ties is central to Ramadan. Perhaps this is one of the reasons why businesses are booming across fashion, hospitality, and food sectors. With many social gatherings, people visiting families and gift-giving, businesses are joining in the festivities, all the while keeping traditional elements within their offerings. What we notice is the things or the habits happening in our houses are there now in, in, in hotels, are there in shopping malls and so on for visitors to know about our, our heritage, our culture, so iftar, so uh, tourists can have the opportunity to come and sit, uh, wait for the prayer call with all the Muslims there and eat together. Uh, that's a uh, very nice experience. Uh, definitely Ramadan nightlife uh, is also more active because a lot of the activities, FMB and, and so on, start during the, the night. While there are many modern takes to iftar, traditions are hard to break. And for comfort, nostalgia, or just a feeling of being closer to home, well-loved favorites such as couscous, tabule, mutabel, fatouche, and samosas continue to be a staple across restaurants. Sofitel Dubai Downtown is among those that went the extra mile from its lobby to the royal room and dining experience. For the holy months, we've been busy recruiting the finest uh, culinary talents. We have chefs from Turkey, from Lebanon, from Morocco. And I can tell you all these uh, fantastic chefs have been very busy preparing the best recipes from around the world to put an amazing Ramadan together. We have amazing Arabic bread oven. We're doing our own manaish, our own sash bread. We have Arabic grill. We're doing our own pizza. And we have uh, as well our fantastic pastry chef doing his own uh, mousse and French desserts as well as traditional uh, Arabic desserts. Eid al-Fitr or the Feast of Breaking the Fast is another important occasion that Muslims prepare for since it marks the end of the holy month and lasts for three days. The first thing I did was to shop already for my children, like for my son, because you know the kandura, it takes how many days before they finish the kandura because a lot of locals, the male locals will be ordering kandura. For my children, the two children, I have the three-year-old and the 11 years old, so for them it's already prepared. Emirati fashion designer Lamia Abedin says she understands this very well as she herself is a mother of three. After successfully launching Queen of Spades in 2008, she annually launches an exclusive Ramadan and Eid collection of traditional abayas and jalabiyas. And in keeping with the holy month, a percentage of her proceeds will go to Al Noor Training Center for children with special needs. Although I do seasonal collections, which are you know for, uh, autumn, winter, and spring, summer, I also love doing a special collection every year for Ramadan. And uh, this is the Ramadan collection. It's uh, it's a different view. It's a different uh, time of the year. Um, it's very graceful, very peaceful. Um, fashion is important in the way that it's more relaxing. Um, uh, colors are worn um, in more like private uh, groups with girls, for example, um, when we go visit family, things like that. This time we went for uh, pastels, many pastels actually, but we did have the vibrant colors as one solid piece. But um, pastels is something that uh, for me felt very comforting, uh, very good to look at, you know, something that you don't really get bored with. It has a little vintage feel to it that you can also carry in your wardrobe for many years to come and it never dies basically. So this is the look that I wanted to achieve in this collection. Meanwhile, lifestyle store Valide says there is also a rising trend among residents and tourists looking for dinnerware and other Ramadan-related accents and accessories for their homes or as gift items. Ramadan to us, it's, it's something that's very close to us emotionally and business-wise as well. We have a lot of things for Ramadan, especially because our clientele, which is essentially Emiratis, they love the collection. and. The best thing is for them, this collection is not uh, time-bound. 
they wear these kaftans and these capes and these bisht even afterwards so it's something that they buy right now but it actually goes for throughout the year so it's a good investment and this is the time when designers especially work really hard to create very unique very trendy collections so it's the perfect time for them to get something right now and then probably just wear it all year round this season because of the time of the ramadan it's uh, summer so we have a lot of very cool fabrics and and more about prints than about embroideries so in the middle of the ramadan what i used to do is that i go to the bank to exchange uh, notes fresh crisp notes so that i could put them in i could put them in small envelopes and distribute it with to the nephews and nieces of my husband during the eid since ramadan is very much a family affair the luxurious burj al arab is pulling all the stops this holy month from its traditional arabic al iwan restaurant they are expanding their offering to a grand setup in al falak ballroom Food and beverage manager James Thompson says they are offering something distinct and interactive to their discerning clientele. So we've added in some additional live elements this this year to our Ramadan offering that we've never done before. So we have a a traditional Turkish ice cream uh, man that's going to be in Ali Wan that's going to be serving traditional uh, Turkish ice cream, so all hand handmade on the on the spot, and then and then served to the guests. As well as we've got a uh, traditional Arabic juice man who's going to be going around in uh, Al Falak serving uh, traditional Arabic juice, and we'll obviously have our traditional Arabic welcome in all our iftar venues with a locally inspired uh, mocktail to start with, as well as the traditional date to break the break the fast. I think it was I guess a little bit to engage with the community and expand that Arabic spirit that happens during the, the holy month um, and we found last year that we had a, an increased demand from not only our our local guests who like to enjoy the the luxury of the Burj Al Arab but also our the tourists and the expat community who wanted a, a taste of that Arabic theme but wanted to go for a luxury offering that the Burj Al Arab has to offer. Ramadan brings along with it many lessons in every aspect of the holy month. And while abstinence is a huge part of it, many say the social aspect is just as equally important because it involves all of us, such as this unique exhibit of Islamic calligraphy. The kindness, tolerance, generosity, the community spirit will never be lost regardless of all the grandeur or lack of provisions around us. In the end, the Holy Month allows each one of us to slow down, count and share our blessings, as well as strive to become better. Ramadan Kareem.